you doing? <sighs> Why aren't you dressed? I'm not going. What are you No one's going! Oh, I don't feel like getting all dressed up and having to pretend that Jimmy Cooper is the OC Golden Boy. That any community that makes that guy a hero, it's not what I feel like being part of right now. You're not going either? I wanted to leave 20 minutes ago. Let's go. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't go either. <laughs> what is wrong with this family? Are you going? This is Cotillion, the most important of the yeah. year. No. Am I the only one who gets it? Daddy, it's Mr. Fisher again. He's called like three times. No. We do not have time for you two to talk business till Greg. Daddy will see him at the Cotillion, right, Jimmy? That's why he doesn't want to go. <sighs> Alright. You gotta face the problems, huh? man. You you it's deserve it. I can't believe you're not coming. Yeah. It's just after the whole Luke and Ryan thing last night. I don't feel Coop. Ryan isn't even here. He's not? Uh yeah, well, even so. I'm just not up for it. Well, she can be with Clue. Seth can do it on a so what I get all dressed up for? Yeah, she's definitely gonna take him. And Seth is gonna go with the other girl. I kinda prefer that. Which is interesting because I, I actually like that he's got eyes I for know, other girls. What do you think about the whole superhero movie genre? At least it's getting people to read the original source material. I cannot believe that you read comic books. I they connect! Cool. What is that supposed to mean? And I call them graphic novels. In fact, if more people did, maybe the whole form wouldn't be so marginalized. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> hey, Summer. So listen, um... That is such a bitch move, though. Hey, it was your escort. You, um, found another date. Yeah, it's kind of an emergency. But, you're off the hook. Sorry. No, but it's, um... She's so in her bubble right now. Yeah, I cannot. Right now, I cannot support her at all. Like, I know she's Anna, a main character. But... He's a damsel in distress. <laughs> Go save him. No. <laughs> she took that as an opportunity. Hey. hey. Marissa, make up your mind. You're not a Cotillion. You need Neither her. Neither you. Seems to be running around. <laughs> Look, I hope you didn't Like a clue? Because of last night. How come you're not going? So you think just hiding out and staying home is going to make everything better? It seems to be working for you. He's trying to avoid trouble. I'll go if you go. Oh my god. Ryan, come on, check this out! She's not even trying! Getting the edge good! Clarissa! Hello! So we're gonna go to Cotillion. Jesus. I'll get the car. <laughs> Everyone's gonna end up there. Oh, no. This is comprehensive. But honestly, she's not even trying to pretend that, that she's hey, not into deal. him. It's gonna be a lot better once I get that check. Get this property deal closed. Get my wife on my back. I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? You Broke. This isn't really the time or place. Why don't you stop by the office tomorrow and we'll talk about it. Talk about it? Talk about what? Excuse me. Jimmy. I don't believe it. You told Summer you weren't coming. Now you're here with him? No, Ryan and I aren't here together. Oh, no, no, no. no. I'm not an idiot. Then listen to her and stop acting like one. What'd you say? Oh my god! Forget no, 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 what'd you say? Yeah! Come on, man, tell me what you said! What? Stop it! Oh, man. I'm over this. Oh. We're done. Good. Good for you. Good for you, seriously. You deserve better. You didn't try Even to with to... the first episode. Even with... Like, contrary to Gilmore Girls, you didn't try to pretend for a season, you know? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, your hitman already took care of it. I didn't feel a thing. I'm here now, if you want to. Uh... No, to it. You missed your shot. I guess you'll have to go with Princess Mononoke over there. And what are you gonna do? Oh, so now you care? Go. <laughs> she hung out with uh, his uh, new brother. <laughs> no. Could you?
you be any more pathetic? <laughs> yes. Long figure sitting on the floor wondering if he's going to be lonely for the rest of his life. Oh. Hey, sensitivity, it's really, uh, non-existent. You know what your problem is? You're not a man. Again, not appreciating the brutal honesty. But do you know what girls find sexy? Confidence. Dudes who play water polo. Confidence. <laughs> Dudes who play water polo. Seth. Yes. I don't have a date to the cotillion. Would you be my escort? I mean, I, I... confidence. Call him. Teach him the way. Let's do this. Good. Nice. I'm, I'm shipping. Might not be, you know. How did I go from having long, three dates to having none? Thank you. I'm sorry, girl. That blows. <sighs> no. Sorry, no. girl. That can't pass. I'm available again. You are. Say no. Say no. 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 We're gonna go this way. No. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. You gotta deserve it. Oh yeah. Being all bitchy and stuff. And Stern, daughter of Cameron and Patricia Stern. Confidence, man, that's how it works. Marissa Cooper, daughter of James and Julie Cooper. I love you, Jim. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> the start of something beautiful. Hopefully. We never finished our conversation. I gotta tell you, Jimmy, you got me a little concerned. Believe me, it's nothing that can't wait until tomorrow. I've already put an offer, okay? I got a mortgage on the house. The kids are in private school. Now, if there's a problem, I need to know about it. Now is not the time. Dude, fuck off. Jimmy, where's my money? I asked you a question. Where's my money? Look, I didn't want you to find out this way, but I don't have it. What? I will, but I don't have it right now. Well, if you don't have my money, then who has it? Shh. Hey, look. I promise I'm working on it, all right? There's been some bad investments and bad accounting. But... Oh, are you telling me you lost everything? Just keep it down. I'm not gonna keep it down. That is my money. That is my retirement. Dude, it's not my the kids' tuition. Sorry. Ah, oh, you should have gone out. Oh my God. You're a thief. My money. Hey. 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 So, uh, sorry, I, I know I promised I wouldn't get into any fights. I think we'll make an exception in this case. It wasn't really a fight. The police, however, are going to have some questions. And as your attorney, I advise you, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that I'll uh, get to see you again? Mm, no. Oh, okay. No, it's... I know this might sound kind of whatever, but I'm spending the rest of the summer on a sailing trip to Tahiti. No! Why no, a sailing it? trip! Yeah. Again, something they have in common! But she's leaving! Yeah. Why do you need to go, girl? She's gonna give him... She taught him a little bit about confidence. As soon as I heard, I'm sorry. Can I take you home? We could talk, maybe. I, I just need to be alone right now.
feel bad for him. Uh, yeah, me too, a little bit. <laughs> but then, like... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, <sighs> why, oh why, oh why, said you find your soulmate, a girl perfect for you, a girl worth fighting for, and she <laughs> needs to leave. I think it, the, the she point has is, to leave. Damn it! I'm not sure the point of her being here was to start him on another I relationship, know. but I it know. was just about having someone tell him that he needs to stop being a puppy, running after Summer in the hopes of he her, needs you know, giving to him something. Stand up for himself, be confident, and the rest is gonna flow by itself. Because we've been saying it in the first episode, it was so obvious. Like, that's exactly what he lacks. You know, confidence, mm -hmm. self-esteem. He is so jittery all the time. He is so, you know, uh, he's certain he's gonna be rejected. And he was drunk on the little things that Summer would do that he would... That weren't even, you know, directed towards him. But since he was around when it happened, he's just... He loved it like she talked to him. But it, it's not affection. Yeah. Like I said, when she's breeding, he's... Next yeah, season. but you know so, that's sad. Really sad. I know that she's a main character, and I, I I get a very strong Brooke Davis vibe from her. As in, she starts very shallow, and eventually, maybe we will get to see <clears throat> behind yeah. the mask. But right now, all we see is the mask, and that mask is horrible because um, the persona she has, she is a brat. Like she. Thinks that it, she, it's like she wants the attention on her all the time, and I don't know what led her to be like that. But she, she feels she walks like she, she believes everyone should be around her, surrounding her, giving her what she wants, and and expecting, you know, or hoping to have a sign from her. Uh, but then I'm gonna correct you right there. I don't think that she's putting on a mask because she needs to have this persona of her and the reputation. I think that she's just living in well, a bubble. It depends. It depends on how they deal with her character. Because, like, again, like I'm saying, but, I see Brooke okay, Davis in It's her. true that we, don't, we didn't see her living at home. We see her outside. But from what we saw right now, I think that she's only living in a bubble. Yeah. And she thinks that everything is perfect for her. And if you don't... If, you, if you're not in our bubble, you don't deserve to be beside her and everything. It could but be both. when somebody is going to pop that bubble, well, that's, she's going to yeah. wake up. Like, either, really wake up. Either she, needs, she just needs a reality check and yeah. she needs to calm down. But then at the same time, I'm like, how did she even become friends with, with uh, Marissa if she's so shallow? Shallow friends. It's true that if you look at it, like Marissa's relationships seem to be, you know, going according to the plan that her family yeah. set for her because they're, you know, part of the community and stuff. So she dates the golden boy. She dates mm -hmm. someone from a good family and she's friends with the people that her parents know, you know, it's, it's, it's a small community and, and that's why they're all friends. And that's why, that's how I look at that. That's why they all know each other. But with Summer, I'm like... I don't wish that she has, like, I'm not wishing for problems in her home life. I'm just thinking that either they're going to do that, you know, they're going to pull that card, which would be, there is a girl behind this. It's just that she got lost somehow. And the, the reason why she acts like this is because there, there's something going on at home or there's something that led her to feel like she had to act this way. Or like you said, it's just that it's her, her home life is not bad. It's just her home life created this this persona for her because she is part of the rich crowd mm -hmm. and she thinks that she deserves all of that and she deserves yeah. all the attention and she needs a real a reality check which yeah. she kind of got here because she didn't get to do her debut at all you know and uh to have seth finally say you know let's nope. go this way that was that way bye girl. yeah things don't always go the way you you think that it's gonna go yeah and he no. doesn't owe you anything he tried and you just pushed him away, so I think she deserved it, and I don't feel sad for her. But I do wish to see more character, though. Like, I, they could do a lot about her, and right now they're focusing on the other ones, so mm -hmm. we'll see what they do with her. But I I do think that they're going to do something with her character, because she she is a main character in the show. Like so. yeah. But yeah, that's why is. I'm saying I, got, I get a, a Brooke Davis vibe. And with Brooke, it's not like everything was good in her home life either, so... 
we will see. But uh, that felt good. That felt very good to have him stand up for himself and yeah. at least learn that he's worth it. You know, he just needs to show that he thinks he's worth it. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Uh, now, um, Marissa and Ryan. Oh, I was about to... <laughs> I wanted to talk with Marissa and her dad. Well, Marissa in general. Okay. First of all, like with Ryan, I think it's, it's the fastest thing we can discuss because it, we don't approve with with how she treated the situation to begin with because she's dating someone else and even though he was a jerk well he wasn't a jerk but well he kind of is but he did some stuff in the first episode that really led me to not liking him but it seems that they're, they're really trying to portray him in another light so in so this episode especially <laughs> What? Like, just like with Chuck Bass and Gossip Girl with the first episode and they switch his character around for the They, they decided to forget the yeah, stuff Yeah, we're gonna we forget that. Although they brought, they brought it back, but it's not like he didn't try to rape anyone in the first episode either. Like, it's not the same, but in this episode I really felt bad for him because I mean, it might be the actor, which by the way looks like he, he could come out straight out of Les Fruits de l'Amour. It's a TV show. I, I don't know what the name of, of, it, of it is in English, but... Passion and something, I, I guess. Yeah, but he looks like he's straight out of that TV show. In any case, uh, I felt bad a bit for him. And it might be the acting, but when he learned that Ryan was here to stay, he did a face, which maybe might have been shock, but I saw his happiness, so I was like, oh my god, he could do You know it. what? Maybe in the long run, uh, we're gonna have a surprise that... He's bisexual. He's bisexual. You know? He was gay. He wasn't to Ryan all along, all this time. He does make and a lot of jokes. And this pent up frustration was because he was sexually attracted, sexually attracted to, Ryan. to him. Maybe <laughs> that could be something. Honestly, though, I would ship it. <laughs> but no, okay. With that, with the jokes aside, I feel like and he is always saying jokes about are oh, you're gay or oh, you're gay. So yeah, and, you know I. I've always been against cheating. I will never really condone it. And uh, I've had people I, I knew who, you know, told me stories, stuff that they did. And, and they were like, you know, oh, my home life, my, my marriage isn't good. So I'm finding affection somewhere else. And I'm like, why don't you just leave the other guy? Like, there's always a reason. I, I know, like, some people would say that, oh, they can't leave that person because that person provides for them. For, for, for them. So then that, in that case, it's greedy and it's hypocritical or you know oh, they're they're afraid to let that person go but then in that case you've got a lot of issues to work out you know you got find help you know do something about it but yeah. don't put yourself in worse situations by cheating on the person too you know so and, in, and it's not even that intense in the show she's just attracted to someone else and the reason why she stays with Luke is because family and standards so and she already proved that she she could go against her mom's wishes mm -hmm. so i didn't really appreciate her forcing the relationship with ryan when it was obvious that her boyfriend didn't like it and it's obvious that ryan knew that it was gonna lead to problems and he was trying yeah. not to you know get into a fight mm -hmm. He is very attracted though, like he's not hiding from that. He's he's so attracted to her. It's crazy. Yeah. In any case, I don't agree with cheating. They didn't cheat, but she's obviously attracted to him and They're not hiding it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like they're kind of uh showing it a lot. So I felt really bad for the boyfriend. And I thought that when he said that it, that was it, that he was kind of out. I thought that was a, that was a good thing for him, but then he came back because he's not a bad dude apparently. So yeah, he cares a little. He cares about her, so we'll see. But which brings us to the other part of what we want to discuss. Yes, uh, Marissa's dad. Um, uh, I swear, every time that he's speaking about oh how uh, I love my daughter, or I'm gonna talk about you tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, every single time that he's. Speaking about it, I got a bad vibe from him, like he's gonna do something bad. Like, I'm, I'm expecting the worst well, I felt like with he was, him. Well, I, I just felt he was running away from his problems. Like, he doesn't want to admit that he's in, in in deep shit right now. And he uh, he tried to, you know, get out, get a uh, get out of jail card from, from yeah, the mom. And then... Every single time that he's running away from the problem, the problem gets worse. 
and when the person's gonna catch him some someday, well, <laughs> everything's gonna explode and you won't be able to handle it. He's not even able to handle it right now. That's kind of why I don't blame the guy who started the fight that much because even though he really did not pick his time, I he's also the one who's been lied to because his money's gone and the dad could have told him right away when he asked for for the check, but then he chose to push push the problem away over and over again till it got too it, it went it was too much you know yeah. so the truth came out and like you said it's gonna catch up eventually now a lot of people know that he's a thief uh, the specifics are not known but I'm pretty sure it's gonna yeah, come but out the reputation gonna take a blow well, people that. are gonna start asking questions and uh, since he's dealing with a lot of these people they're gonna figure it out and they're gonna find out that he doesn't have their money anymore. And once again, the mother is more embarrassed about the image than her husband's problems. Well, she also has a right to, to you know, be angry about the whole thing because she, she also has been kind of lied to for a while. Like he, it's not like he, it happened overnight, you know, if you're in so much shit, you had to, to have problems way back when, you know? So he didn't, sh he didn't say anything to her, not like she was interested. And then he kind of allowed her to have a certain lifestyle, which she expects now from him. And I don't think that's, that's, I mean, it's bullshit. But like, the it's thing not... is, she kind of knows now that he got money problem that the she neighbor, still asks him for stuff. the neighbor helped him out with it, and she's still asking for stuff that it, that are so expensive. And with that, you know, I understand he doesn't, you know, want to take away stuff from them. But I'm with Sandy, like a hundred percent on that. It's I don't feel like I want to help a guy who lives this type of lifestyle, and uh, because he doesn't want to let go of that lifestyle. He got into debts and debts and he stole from people who trusted him. Yeah. And now he's whining about it and stuff. And I'm like, you dug your own grave, man. And why do you... He doesn't want to let go of, let go of that lifestyle because he doesn't want to be one of the little people and stuff. At least the wife, that's how she would probably put it. Like, she doesn't want to be poor and stuff. And when you're a person like Cindy or Ryan, who actually grew up in an environment where mm -hmm. it's not all shiny and stuff, yeah. it's uh, insulting. And it's uh, it just shows like what type of values these people have. It's, it's like, what's the mom's name again? The coin's mom? I the good know. mom? I don't know. Well, uh, the good mom. Seth's mom. <laughs> well, Seth's mom. Seth's mom says something that, uh, that her husband didn't know that, that she could do probably anything for her family. Which is good. Which is good, but... He also has a point. <laughs> anything doesn't mean that you need to steal from people so that your family can live in luxury. But that's the thing. You know? that I was saying that I think that what he ended up doing was worse because he kept giving them material things, but because he kept giving them material things, now he's going to lose his reputation, he's going to lose trust, he, he's probably going to end up in jail if it blows up, he's going to de deprive them of... of of him, his presence in the family and it's gonna create so many issues so what he did really wasn't for the family at the end of the day he just didn't want to lose face in front of them he wanted yeah. to be able to provide but at the end of the day what he did was not for his family and it's not gonna be good for the family either when it all blows up so he's in deep shit and now people know that something's up so next episode is gonna be bad for him, and it's going to be bad for Marissa, and bad True. for the family. Oh, yeah. Alright, so that was episode four, guys. It was a must-see. That was Well, nice. it was good for Steph. <laughs> but it was good to see people <laughs> staying up with themselves, shit blowing it up. That was nice. It was it, it was cringy for the dad. It was sad for the boyfriend. It was good for Seth. That, you know, that's teen dramas. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is already on Patreon. You can check it out right now. The link is in the description. Yep, so don't forget to subscribe for the Watch It Now, guys. And if not, wait for the next one to be out on YouTube, yes. which will be next week. So we're going to see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.